for joining us for News 3 at Noon. I'm Erica Greenway. And I'm Todd Carella. We do begin at noon with the latest updates from an early morning shooting. Police tell us one man is dead after that shooting at a Newport News business. Our News 3 reporter Penny Commit was there this morning and joins us live now from police headquarters with an update. And Penny, we understand just moments ago you learned the name of the victim in this case. Yes, Todd, Eric, I'm right outside of the Newport News Police Station. We're inside. Officials have just identified the victim in this morning's early shooting as Lorend Javel Ransom. And it turns out that he was the owner of Jackpot Hookah where the shooting occurred. Want to take you back to the scene this morning. I've been out there since about 4 a.m. We have some video for you. And this morning they allowed me to go inside of the hookah lounge where Ransom's co-owner, told me that he was, quote, always trying to lift others up and said he was devastated to lose his fellow business partner. Newport News police say that they arrived on scene just after midnight to Ransom suffering from gunshot wounds right outside of the jackpot hookah door. Ransom was declared dead on scene. Police are still looking for who pulled the trigger and Ransom's business partner tells me that investigators collected all of the lounge's video surveillance footage. So hopefully we'll have some more answers soon. But what I can tell you right now is that even hours later after the shooting, we were just at the hookah lounge earlier. There's still a large crowd gathered there and emotions are high. This is a developing story this afternoon, so you could head to WTKR.com for the latest information. Reporting from Newport News, Penny Commit, News 3.